Hello. So, this is Emily. Um, I'm laying in a hospital bed. Looking kind of goofy, but whatever. I've been at the hospital since um, 11 a.m. yesterday now, and it's 2.39 a.m. the following day. Um, I guess it's like May 25th now. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I just found out a few hours ago now, not just now, but, um, that I definitely have a brain problem. Um, I have blockage in my brain. Um, and the doctor says that it's 95% sure to be, um, I forgot the name. Oh. 95% sure to be multiple sclerosis. Um, so, I had, he found that out because um, I had an MRI on my head. And tomorrow, I have to get a spinal something, something where they numb your spine and then they um, go in with a needle and get some like droplet pieces out and then they can run like all kinds of tests to find out exactly what it is um, that I have so that they can know for sure if it's that or if it's something else. Um, and I guess I'm just making this video because um, I know that there are hard things in life that we have to go through. And um, so I would say this is definitely one for me right now. Um, if I do have this, obviously it will change my entire life. Um, if you don't know what multiple sclerosis is, you can go look it up. And uh, this video will probably never be posted if it's not what I have, but, um, but we'll see. We'll see um, within the next couple of days what it is that I have. Um, I have to run some more blood tests. Uh, right now I'm hooked up to an IV, actually. Um, um, getting steroids to hopefully even out the vision. Um, that made me realize something was wrong. My right eye vision has been going out um, since this past Saturday. And uh, I've had tests all week with eye doctors, and they say my eyes look perfect and nothing looks wrong. So uh, I got sent to the ER, and that's where they found out that, um, you know, that it's definitely, um, I have a lot of brain blockage. So um, anyway, whatever happens, it's not the end of the world. Life goes on, and I can either fret on this this thing that's going on or I can you know take charge of it and you know make it end up being something great so um that'll be tricky <laughs> but it's definitely not impossible and only the greats can do the possible that seems impossible <laughs> so um so yeah you guys I'm gonna keep you guys updated and we'll see what's going on. Um, I'm really nervous for my test tomorrow. I'm really nervous for the spinal thing. Um, but sometimes you gotta do things you don't really feel like doing. <laughs> so <sighs> I'll be in the hospital for the minimum of the next five days. <laughs> so maybe I'll make some more videos and thank you guys for watching. Hello everybody. Um, it is Friday. Yes, it is. It's Friday, May 26th, 2017. And, um, well, I've, you know, finished my spinal tap now. Um, I've had, like, a lot of blood work done, like, every day, like, multiple times a day. Um, I've been on steroids to hopefully, um, help my vision in my right eye. That's, um, very blurry. My mom and stepdad flew in from Texas, so I wouldn't have to be alone through this. Um, they've been catering vegan food, so it hasn't been going bad, and, um, I've been staying very positive. Um, um, I have a lot of friends on my side. I have Bryce on my side. 
so you know I'm staying very positive and my mom did my makeup today so you know that makes me feel pretty and positive and good um, and yeah so um, I found out today pretty much that all of the doctors who have been helping me out are 99% sure that I have multiple sclerosis so there is that 1% that maybe I don't maybe it's something else but they're pretty positive um, that it's multiple sclerosis they just can't say for definite sure until the uh, results from the spinal tap come in um, all the results because some of them have and some haven't they took like a lot of fluid out of my back for to test a lot of different things just in case um, so now we're you know kind of waiting on that I should get out of here Monday I believe so we'll see just as long as nothing um, goes wrong so I'll probably leave um, with that 1% still unsure if I have multiple sclerosis but um, I can pretty much expect for that to be my official diagnosis because they've already talked about setting up um, appointments with a multiple sclerosis um, like expert like specializing in that um, because they, they really really believe that's what I have um, but they could be wrong you never know and if they're not then I'll live with that and if they are then I'll take the road that you know that it really is because something's definitely wrong um, but yeah I'm staying very positive um, I have a lot of love and support I love all my friends and my family so much um, I love Jesus <laughs> so much and he's definitely saving my life right now and um, no matter what this is it will turn out to be something great I just know it um, yeah I finished The Power by Rhonda Byrne it's the second book in the secret series so now I'm reading um, some of what's called The Message I don't know actually who the author is but it's like a Bible translated to where it's really easy to understand so um, reading a little bit of that doing a little bit of journaling listening to some motivational YouTube videos some money-saving tips <laughs> um, just thinking about my future really excited about my acting career um, thinking about where to go next with that um, who's gonna take my headshots <laughs> um, yeah so anyway I'm gonna keep you guys updated and you'll definitely know whenever I know if that's for sure what I have or not and I just want to send you all love and peace and happiness and blessings um, because even though it's a very hard time in my life right now, I feel I feel very, very blessed. <laughs> and yeah, so okay, we'll see what this is. We'll see what's going on. And please pray for me and please wish me the best of luck.